bigger. Big fish. To help me find the best barracuda spot, I head out with Joe Hendricks, who has years of fishing experience and knows these waters like the back of his hand. Good cast. Thank you. They're pretty quick, yeah. yeah. Oh. And he got off. I just lost the fish. But it looks like I'm gonna get another shot. An even bigger one is approaching the boat. I like this type of fishing because it's like a hunt. The water is so clear, I can even see them from the surface. There, 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 there's one. That's a nice scooter. Looks like a good one there. Big fish. Big barracuda. You know what can be dangerous when you have a barracuda like that on the line? Is that sometimes once they're hooked, they jump out of the water. And if you happen to be on the path of the fish, when they land, you can get seriously injured because they go airborne with an open mouth like this. There have been cases of people being injured by barracudas jumping out of the water. But I really don't think these fish intentionally attack humans. They're just freak accidents, very unlikely to happen. This fish is relentless, but I finally get it to the boat. All right. Do you mind grabbing the rod? Not a problem. Thank you. Ooh. Look at the teeth on that sucker. All right. Oh. All right. Good sized barracuda right there. That is a monster. Beautiful predator, beautiful animal. Look at the size of the eyes. They can see really well. Clearly a sight hunter. And look at the body. Torpedo shaped, very streamlined and a big tail for quick accelerations once they've zeroed in on their prey. And the teeth, well, you know what? I think they speak for themselves. Look at the teeth in the back of the jaw. They're so sharp, they're like razor blades. So those fish can hunt with an open mouth, ramming their prey, that, that way they can cut them up in pieces and then come back for whatever's left. Man. All right. 